Welcome back to the Broncast. We're here doing another kind of walk around a Bronco. And this one is a sixth generation. Now I'm here with Derek and uh, he's gonna kind of walk me around his sixth gen Bronco. We're here at the Tom's off-road event. It actually just ended at the Mount Ashland Ski Lodge. You have this Bronco, but you also have a YouTube channel. Yep, you can find us at Blanco Bronco Adventures. And we got this Bronco about three years ago. And one of our first events was Tom's Off-Road. And if you haven't been to a Tom's event, you yeah. are missing out. The yeah. cruise was awesome. The Bronco people, you have to make time to come to a Tom's event. It's yeah. that simple. <laughs> it really is fun. And a lot of people are like, oh, I'd rather go to a wheeling trip or like, you know, something like that. And I totally understand it, totally get it. But like, this is a very unique event. <laughs> All right, so looking at this thing outside, what have you, suspension, lift, tires, what have you done? To be honest, very little things. Really? Personally, I think Ford has set us up pretty good. There's things, yeah. but straight out of the box, these Broncos are pretty capable. I think it's just a driving style, to be yeah. honest. We've got true 35 inch tires. We've got the Ford Performance bead lock rings, I've done an inch and a half body lift and four wheel parts coilovers. Other than that, I put a ricer exhaust on it to try to get a loitering ticket. And <laughs> we put one of the blow off valves for the turbo to try to get a loitering ticket. It hasn't worked out yet, but we'll keep trying. Yeah. We've got three small boys. We go out and go camping with our tent and you know just enjoy the time. Our whole slogan is get off the couch and create an adventure. It's what it's about. You know, yeah. you can sit at home and believe me, I can binge watch some stuff. But yeah. to get out and see these kids, you know, growing up and enjoying things and meeting new people and gaining people skills too. That's huge. Well, uh, would you mind if I take this for a little drive? Oh, you can drive wherever you want. You want All to right, go up that pile of rocks? Oh, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> we'll give it a try. A, a six gen Bronco is a six yeah, gen Bronco. Exactly, yep. But interesting thing behind us, one, you've got a ton of early Bronco parts. What's we up do. with that? So we've got a 68 Bronco that we're building. And in our first interview here at Tom's Off-Road, <laughs> I, the Bronco bug bit quick. So <laughs> I told you, I says, well, now I got to convince my wife to get one. I think even before your video come out, we had an early Bronco. So Tom's is the best place to pick up your Bronco parts. Yeah. And when you're here at the event, guess what? You save on shipping, you know? You spend yep. it on gas. So sure. you're down here, you might as well just take it home. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, we've got quarters and inner fenders and all the stuff that we need in yeah. one place. It's easy. One of the things that I love about your channel, what I love about what you're doing is it's family. Like yep. you, you, it's not just you. It's not just, Hey, I'm going to go, you know, spend a week out on the trail and right. leave my family behind. Yeah. You bring your family with you. Yep. Yeah. That's kind of what our whole platform started out as is get the kids out and you know, we're all mortal. And at some point the kids will be able to look back and go, Oh yeah, mom and dad were crazy. You know, why'd we take a brand new vehicle and go and beat it up? You know, and there again, it's one of those that, you just gotta do it, you yeah. know, especially for the kids. You you get it, you oh, know, yeah. they're only little for so long. And next yep. thing you know, man, my seven-year-old, he's, you know, telling me stuff that I don't even know. It's like, yeah. man, he's getting smart. <laughs> yep. What's kind of the, the, the thing that you guys do as a family? Like, when do you take this thing out? What are you, what are you ready to go? Well, any Bronco event, that's the easy time okay. to get out. Okay. But the kids absolutely love the sand dunes. Anytime oh. we can get this Bronco on the dunes, the smiles in the back and the giggles make it all worth it. <laughs> Every time we, you know, hit that even little tummy tickle drop, they think that we jumped the thing 20 feet and I let them believe it. Yep. We have jumped it, so I wouldn't recommend it, but it is one of those that if you ever want to, I mean, it's a good time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, but sand dunes is where the kids really love it. What would you say, Where's where's your favorite spot to go? We really, really enjoy getting down to Sand Hollow, Utah, oh, or yeah. Hurricane, Utah, Hurricane. Yep. at Sand Hollow State Park. Yep. That place is just something special. The yeah. traction you can get on the rocks and you know, just the people that are around. You have Matt's off-road recovery down there, so yep. if you get in a bad spot, you got easy contact to get a hold of those guys. We've done a little bit of off-roading and things with them too, and they're genuine people so you ever hang with like mischief maker oh yeah yeah, yeah nice. holly yeah. yeah holly fowler she has just one of the sweetest 
person that we've ever met. I mean, just human, yeah. super, super nice. So, her, in fact, she's doing the Onyx Off-Road Milk is. Challenge, yeah. right? I'm going yeah. to her shop in a week. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah we're, we're super excited because we're going to be able to see her in SEMA this year as well. Oh, nice. So. Yeah. Well, I'll be there too. Yeah. And will this Bronco be there? It will. So, nice. as the Bronco is in rough shape right now, we're working with some pretty sweet sponsors to bring this thing back yeah. up to, you know, par. It's almost got 60,000 miles on it. So, it, it's probably the highest mile Bronco you've driven. I mean, yeah. for a 6th gen. For a 6th gen, yeah. yeah, for sure. sure. Whose booth will you be in? Uh, we will be in Armadillo Designs. They're producing a hardtop specifically for the 6th gen Broncos. Okay. And uh, we're going to be featuring their square back style. And nice. then on top of that, we're finally going to go to 37s and Ooh. new bumpers and winch and all the yeah. stuff. So we've, I've been a pretty strong believer that Ford right out of the box has set you up pretty good. But now it's kind of a change of events where the Bronco is going to be out of warranty. Yeah. Well, now it's game on, right? Yeah. So I don't have to worry about making a change and the dealership getting upset. <laughs> yeah. So when is the 68 going to be done? Wow, that's a good question. So... <laughs> It was supposed to be here for this weekend. What? My goal was basically one year to okay. restore the thing. And, you know, with the help of Tom's catalog, it's doable. You just got to have <laughs> the pockets expensive. for it. Yeah. yeah. So the funds ran out real quick, but yeah. the enthusiasm hasn't, you know. <laughs> so my goal is, is hopefully next year. Okay. But there is a lot of progress being made. I've got the frame almost to a roller state. We've got the 302 nice. built. We got nice. an AOD for it, Dana 44. The nine inch has been gone through. And I just dropped the body off to uh, Ed Thomason up in Spokane, Washington. Okay, cool. He's uh, part of the Inland Northwest Bronco Club. Uh -huh. And they do some awesome stuff up there. There's a body guy that just knows his way around an early Bronco. And I just didn't have the time or expertise. So I made a phone call and said, I'm bringing it to you. <laughs> so that's what the body parts are for. They're going to Washington. Man, so. I didn't know we were going to go on a romantic Oh uh, Yeah, this is great. Drive. You know, drive. I do like long drives. <laughs> oh, yeah, me too. I, and, yeah. I, you know, like you said, I, I feel very similar. Like Ford did right with the Bronco. Like, it's a great drive. It, it really handles well on and off road. It, drives great and it's just fun to drive it is and it's easy and yeah. then you know i always laugh going to events that it's cheating you know you go yes. to early bronco events and you watch you know the, all these people driving their early bronco and you know we get in and push of a button we're yeah. good to go you know it, it's cheating this is you said wild track yes it's wild track so you so. got front rear locking differential yeah yep just and no sway bar disconnect no right? that's the no. only thing yeah but I mean, I'm a firm believer it's a driver. Yeah. You know, there, there's been a lot of stuff that I've been right up, you know, a very well-built Bronco goes right up stuff and I'm right behind it. You yeah. know? And there are times and it's, I, I tell this to everybody, especially for your first time off-roading, if it makes you pause, listen to that pause and stop. Because yeah. especially with an IFS vehicle, man, the potential of rolling is just right there. You know, these pick up a tire everywhere you everywhere. go. Everywhere. So yeah. you have to be cautious of it. And early Bronco with a solid axle, they wheel so differently, even yes. a Jeep, you know, and that's that's a huge benefit. But getting on the highway and cruising at 80 miles an hour and knowing everybody's good in the back, and, yeah. you know, that's yeah. peace of mind too. So when are you solid axle swapping this? Well, so the warranty's <laughs> up in about 4,000 miles. <laughs> oh, man. Well, so. are you, would you consider it? Are you I thinking? would, yeah. 100%. So yeah. if... At some point, I want to build a dedicated crawler. I mean, oh, yeah. you can see what I've done to this in three years of beating it up and the yeah. squeaks and everything you can hear. Yeah. So a dedicated crawler, I would. I would love to find a wrecked new Bronco and just gut it yeah. and solid axle swap it. I, you know, I'd stay with Ford Power Plant and all that stuff just to keep it right. But yeah. I would absolutely love it. it. If you get the opportunity to see the one out of Texas, Eric um, with Lone Star Ring and Pinion, okay. he solid axle swapped it and he's currently putting in a Godzilla. So oh. that's going to be some groundbreaking stuff in yeah. my opinion. So, yes. you know, there's ways around it though for, you know, the new Bronco, you can put portals on. You know, yep. Portals will do it too. That gains yep. you the ground clearance because these like to drag their belly everywhere. But there again, at some point, even with a portal, you're going to pick up a tire. Yeah. And that's where these get out of hand pretty quick. We've We've seen it firsthand. We've, you know, tried yep. not to have any major issues out on the trail, but 
That's why it's called rock crawling, not rock bouncing. Yes. So you just go yeah. slow. <laughs> well, and especially if you're in Sand Hollow, it's like, it's not East Coast. Like East Coast wheeling is yeah. rock bouncing. Oh, yeah. Know, like yeah, that, you, you're, you're on the rev limiter. You're, yeah. you're trying to just throttle out. Yeah. <laughs> and, but when you're West Coast, yeah. Utah, like. Air down and just, I, I always tell everybody drive with the brake because yep. literally as you crawl up stuff, your brake's your best friend Yeah. and just let the tires do the work. Yeah. So, but yeah. there again, it makes it look easy, you know, and then right. people get out there and get in a pretty, you know, hairy situation, not realize it. Yeah. So it's always go out, go out with two Broncos, yes, you know, exactly. don't go alone. That's Never go alone. Idea. Never go alone. Yeah. <laughs> We're alone, but it's well, just a gravel road. Well, yeah, it's a gravel yeah. road. Yeah. Uh, we don't need spotters yet. Right, right. <laughs> Well, man, this is, it's super cool. And I, I, again, I just love that you got the family involved. I appreciate that. I got to give a big shout out to my wife. She's the one that, I mean, she allows me to do this. Number one, she's yeah. supportive of it. But a lot of times, you know, and you understand it with YouTube and Instagram, Facebook and stuff, it's a full-time job. Yeah. And she works full-time, but she manages our accounts full-time because I'm working full-time. Right. So, you know, she she keeps this thing, you know, moving how it should. And she's basically my secretary. I come home, she says, hey, we're going to Tom's next weekend. I'm like, perfect. She's like, I, good. Yeah. She's like, I got you the time off work and everything. I'm like, sign me up. So yeah, she, awesome. she keeps this ship a sailing. Yeah. Is the 68 hers? Well, so interestingly enough, she actually has an 84 Bronco too. So, <laughs> so she's letting me claim the 68, okay. but she has a Bronco too that her dad bought her uh, back when we were in high school. Oh, wow. And she absolutely loves it. Her dad yeah. passed away, unfortunately, and that's what we have left. And it's, it's beat. I actually daily drive it every day. She, oh my she gets to drive this and I, I stole her Bronco too, but yep. it needs a lot of work. So. She wants to bring that back to its former glory, how we had it in high school and stuff. Oh, and that's where we yeah. met was in high school because of her Bronco. So, oh, that's awesome. So, yeah, she lets me claim the 68 and she's got an 84 Bronco too. Oh, <laughs> so. I mean, that's so cool. Like, so you have a 68, 69? Too? Yeah, we've actually got a 69 project. So. A six gen and a Bronco too. I mean. Yeah, and then my, you know, addictive personality, I bought another Bronco too. So it just was too good of a deal on Marketplace. So now I've got a couple. That's awesome. <laughs> so we've got the whole family here. Who are these guys? This is Dennis, Lewis, and our Emmett. Youngest, Emmett. And what are their ages? <laughs> um, I'm seven, he's four, he's three. Nice. Two. Yeah. And do you guys like going around in the Bronco? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Is it yeah, your favorite? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. Okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yep, yep. And okay, like, so you have this family. What yes. was even the thought of like, hey, we're gonna do this. We're gonna start a YouTube channel, get a Bronco, and like go out and do this. Boy, a little harebrained idea, a little crazy. You know, raising kids, it's so easy to hand them a tablet and say, here you go. You know? And I didn't want to beat that parent. So we go on adventures. We set up the tent and we have fun. Yeah. And we go all over and meet awesome friends, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. I love that it's a family thing. Like, I love that you guys all do this together. Uh, like, you know, I have three kids. Like, yeah. it, you know, family's so important. Exactly. And I, and I love that. Um, and now he just said you have a Bronco too. I do. It's my little <laughs> pride and joy. And it's it's old and probably not. I mean, it's gutless, but I love it. So my dad bought me a Bronco too when I was 16, straight out of high school. Um, and I kept it and he still dailies it. I mean, <laughs> it's still trucking. That's I, so cool. I, I would drive love to one the U-joints, they're real sloppy. Yeah. So you yeah. just off the line, just ease into the Yeah. Country. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's super cool. I mean, Bronco is a family thing. Like yes. we talk about it all the time. Like it's, it's life, you know, like, it just becomes a part exactly. of the family and <laughs> everyone, you know, it gets involved with it and Broncos get passed down and, you know, you get bought. So hopefully super we teach cool. them to love it too. Yep, exactly. <laughs> well, guys, thank you for being on the podcast. Yes. Thank you guys for watching and uh, go check out Blanco Bronco Adventures on YouTube. Yes, Instagram, Instagram Facebook, Facebook, all the goods, all the things. Give these guys a follow. Thanks for being here. Yeah. All right. Thank you. We'll see you guys. <laughs>